We have chosen to analyze the problems surrounding nitrogen fertilizers in terms of agricultural use in a biological engineering perspective. The problems with nitrogen fertilization are threefold. The harsh negative impacts on the environment, the elimination and detrimental effects on many living organism populations, and the growing economic inefficiency of using nitrogen fertilizers. Synthetic nitrogen acts as a stimulant for countless numbers of soil microbes that destroy not only the residue inputs, but also the native organic matter. Nitrogen fertilizers are supposed to build soil organic matter. So why does continuous corn give the lowest yields despite getting the most nitrogen fertilizer and the greatest input of carbon from residues. Soil samples collected in 2005 provide the answer to this puzzle. Nitrate is a form of nitrogen that is found in inorganic fertilizers. Once in our water bodies, these nutrients can cause harmful algal blooms that block out light lower the water's oxygen level, turn water into a green or rust color, and lead to fish being killed. Local governments spend millions of dollars each year to remove nitrogen from area water bodies. As depicted in the graph, the United States is using an exponentially higher amount of nitrogen fertilizers in terms of tons every single year. As we know, nitrogen is an essential component in proteins for plants to thrive and grow but an excess of nitrogen fertilizers can have a devastating impact on our ecosystems, the living organisms which inhabit those ecosystems, and have a tremendous impact on local and global economies, specifically in the domain of subsistence and commercial farmers. Year after year, farmers are using more and more fertilizer and therefore are paying more and more out of pocket. There must be a more economically efficient, biologically engineered mechanism to combat this problem. We believe that a solution exists in the context of a newly made biologically engineered mechanism that will allow crops to sustain adequate nitrogen through a process of self-nitrogen fixation as found in Dr. Bolero's research of the soybean. The replacement of nitrogen fertilizers is crucial because of rapidly increasing negative effects on the environment, on living organisms, and on our economy.